And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, where I give you the rundown in 60 seconds or less, but we might be here a little bit longer. Now, this is how it started. Pump fist, Jordan fist pumps for Petra Kvitova. Oh, my goodness, from Zachary's. But this is how it finished. Zachary would come back down a set. Petra would cover the alternate spread, but take your Greek flags, wave them around your head like a helicopter. Now, listen, in the post-match interview, Zachary said exactly what I said. In the first set, it's like some of the shots she was missing. You got to be concerned for a professional missing those shots. But we gave her the benefit of the doubt. We said it was the win. And she said in the post-match interview in the first set, she Petra had her playing like an amateur. Yeah, correct. Now, she also mentioned something that I referenced earlier about Sabalenka, who's her next opponent. Actually, really quick, guys. Did you see that shot Zachary hit down the line? She, it was wide, but Petra literally, the win here is so unpredictable. The ball carried so slow. Petra literally had time to stop and turn around and watch the ball go by her. I have that clip. It's, oh, man, I wish I can upload that. It's just unbelievable. She's literally watching the ball sell by her. Unbelievable. It was just comical. But, yeah, Sacri made a lot of mistakes. But in her post-match interview, she referenced something that I referenced earlier about Sabalenka. Sabalenka, this is not the same Sabalenka. She's playing with confidence. She's on the court. She's playing as though she knows she's stronger and better than her opponents. She's kind of always been a little arrogant, to be honest with you. But now she's she's like a confident type of cocky. And in her post-match interview earlier tonight, she was asked, you know, about her confidence. And she said, I don't like to use the word confidence. I just like to believe in my abilities, which is great. You know, I agree with that. But I'll be I'll be honest. Sabalenka's confidence is is on level 1,000. She knows she can beat her opponents, and that is scary. I'm telling you guys, there's no one on tour that scares me watching opponents, watching Sabalenka play opponents. It's just Sabalenka scares me. I'm scared for her opponents, however I can get that out, but you understand what I mean. I'm scared for the opponents that Sabalenka plays because she is fierce, guys. I'm telling you, she's a problem. And she fired her mental coach. It's like she now has the confidence to know that she can beat anyone on the court. Now, Sakri has done well against Sabalenka. She's been the last two times. But she's going to... Sakri is the type of player that can beat Sabalenka because I feel she can match her power. And she has a little bit more control. But here, here's the scary stat, guys. Against Coco today, she had one rally that went over nine shots. She is coming out trying to take care of business quick. Petra takes a loser's walk, but she's definitely not a loser. She is a she's got 29 championships, two grand slams, and look, she even look, she had a stalker that tried to take her out that broke into her apartment. That was scary. Okay, Petra's been through a lot, and I, I love Petra. She's a Hall of Famer, one of the classiest tennis players you'll meet. Just the battle she's had with Serena and Venus. I love watching those battles. Petra is one of my all-time favorites. How did Zachary do it? Look, we're not even going to focus on the stats. She just finally focused and played tennis, right? She finally got her act together. She's through. She says she needs a pedicure. Her feet are burning. This court, like, th- these conditions are horrible, guys. Indian Wells is tough. But, guys, we'll see you in Miami next week. I might cover the rest of the matches. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh, but, guys, we're headed to Miami. South Beach. See you soon.